the butterfly method. Let's use the butterfly method to add fractions. 1 over 5 plus 3 over 4. Let's draw the wings of our butterfly by outlining the numerator of one fraction and the denominator of another fraction. We do this two times for both fractions. We give each wing an antenna. Next, we multiply the numbers in each wing. 1 times 4 equals 4, and 3 times 5 equals 15. We put the products of each wing in the antenna. Next, we give our butterfly a body. We draw the body like so and multiply the denominators. 5 times 4 equals 20. We put the product inside of the body. Now we add the numbers in our antenna. 4 plus 15 equals 19. We put the 19 in the numerator. The number in the body, 20, is our denominator. So 1 over 5th plus 3 over 4 equals 19 over 20. We can use the butterfly method to subtract fractions as well. We draw our wings, antenna, and body. Next, we multiply the numbers in each wing. 4 times 3 equals 12, and 5 times 2 equals 10. Now we multiply our denominators and put it inside of the body. 5 times 3 equals 15. Now we subtract the numbers inside of our antennas. We put this number in the numerator. 12 minus 10 equals 2. 2 is our numerator and 15 is our denominator. So 4 over 5 minus 2 over 3 is 2 over 15. This method is very useful for comparing small fractions. Let's try an example. 4 over 7 and 5 over 8. Draw the butterfly as usual. Multiply the numbers inside of each wing. 4 times 8 equals 32 and 5 times 7 equals 35. Now we compare the numbers inside of the antenna. 32 is less than 35. This means that 4 over 7 is less than 5 over 8. However, this method is not always helpful. When you have larger fractions, this method becomes too difficult. Let's look at an example. If you want to add, subtract, or compare 13 over 21 and 17 over 42, we have to multiply the numbers inside of each wing. 13 times 42 and 21 times 17 are very hard and time consuming, which makes the butterfly method less helpful. In cases like these, it is more helpful to use the least common denominator, or the LCD. We also can't use this method if we want to add or subtract three or more fractions. In these cases, we also use the least common denominator or the LCD. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.